Johnny Walker shared his first statement after his loss to Ankalaev. Ankalaev and Walker faced off last week, but the match didn't go Walker's way, and he lost via second round TKO. Here is what he said about the fight. <laughs> I'm good, just a little scratch on my nose. Uh, I'm gonna watch my fight, I'm gonna see what mistake I did later on. And I'm gonna leave my YouTube channel here, so I'm gonna do a little recapitulations to see what I did wrong and to talk more about the fight. It's, it is what it is, we fight the best in the world, you know. I'm on, one of the best in the world, I'm gonna face the best in the world. Could be me, could be him. So he have a better night than me, congratulations to, to him. I'm gonna go mad and hope he get the belt now. And I'm gonna keep grinding, keep going forward, keep going upward. Thank everybody for the support. And I'm gonna take a few days off and come back to the gym. Come back better. Benil Dariush analyzes the showdown between his former opponents Charles Oliveira and Armin Surukian. Having experienced losses to both fighters, Dariush provides valuable insights based on his first hand encounters. Here is what he said. Man, that's a really good fight. I think Armin has a strength and speed advantage. But experience is with Charles. So, it's just how far in the fight goes and how the fight goes. There's a lot of components to it. But yeah, it's gonna be a great fight. It's hard to say who I'd favor. I think early I would go with Armin. But if we go deeper into the fight, I would go with Charles. He seems to come alive as the fight goes on. He's got a lot of tricks and he's a great fighter too. Great fighters seem to find holes as the fight gets longer. At the same time, Armin could finish it early on, or he could ride him out. He's got all the skills. The bout between Armin Sarukian and Charles Oliveira is a crucial fight for the lightweight division, as the winner will go on to face the champion, Islam Makachev. An interesting fact is that Makachev has already defeated both of them, so it will be intriguing to see how they have evolved and how they can pose challenges for the champion. Kamzat Chimeyev discussed the idea of facing John Jones. Despite acknowledging Jones' accomplishments, Chimeyev remains confident in his ability to win a fight against him. Here is what he said. Depends which weight class, he's now a heavyweight. He has most title defenses. He's a two-weight class champion, he never lost still. He's the youngest champion in UFC history. If you speak about MMA, everyone knows John Jones. In history, there is nobody like him. But if you're asking me, for sure I think I will win. That's a hard fight for everyone. He fought two times with my training partner Alexander Gustafsson, they had good fight. So I'd become a fighter with Alex, been training with him. For sure I want to fight with him. So it will be a big history if we fight. Since Alex gave him the best fight in history, now maybe it's my time to fight him as well. It's great that Kamzat is aiming for big challenges, but a fight with John Jones seems unrealistic. The weight class difference and Jones' age make it unlikely. Many believe Jones might retire after just two fights in the heavyweight division. Sean Strickland threatens to stab Drykus Duplessis if he brings up his childhood again at this week's press conference. As we've seen, things escalate quickly when Duplessis talks about Strickland's trauma. Now Strickland has even stated that he is willing to go to jail if Duplessis continues discussing it. Here is what he said. Drykus, we're gonna go try to murder each other. But if you bring that shit up again, I will stab you. Press conference weigh in. He was cool about it. I'm not telling you I don't want to fight you, Drykus. I'm not saying you're not a good fighter. I'm just saying that's a line that when crossed, it transcends fighting. If I go to Canada and you bring that up, guess what? I'm gonna go to jail, they're gonna deport me and we spent 8 weeks of training for no reason. This week's press conference is bound to be intensely crazy, with extra security in place. However, the real excitement kicks in once the fighters step inside the cage. Both fighters have tend to be aggressive and push forward. It's likely the fight won't go beyond round 3, making it a highly anticipated and exciting showdown. Thanks for watching. 
If you're a fan of MMA be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you never miss an update. Also leave a comment below with your thoughts on today's news. Keep supporting the sport, and we'll see you in the next one.